Well, let's bring in now Mark White, our Home Affairs correspondent, who is on the phone. Uh, the very latest we're hearing, Mark, this is from um, Le Parisienne. It shows a graphic picture, uh, I understand, with bodies strewn across the road with their headline, a lorry drives into crowd, shots exchanged with police. At this stage, it is, um, it is very early, but it does appear that there was a major incident in this, uh, this southern French town. Yes, and uh, I mean, all uh, at the moment, all the evidence points to the possibility uh, of an attack. Certainly, that is what the local law enforcement officials in Nice are telling French television, uh, and they're reporting that at the moment. As you say, uh, BFM TV, uh, local French channel, also reporting up to 30 dead. Now, there's been a great deal of concern, of course, following recent terrorist attacks in France, but some real concern from the French authorities about Bastille Day because, of course, it is such a prominent day. And uh, next to the uh, Euro 2016 football tournament, it was the next uh, big event that the French authorities were very concerned about uh, being a possible target uh, for terrorist attacks. And the reports uh, that are coming out that this truck actually mounted uh, the pavement that continued uh, down the pavement, ploughing into people, certainly uh, would seem to, to bear out that. In fact, uh, you can see uh, some of the pictures that are coming through now off that uh, lorry, and it shows the front windscreen riddled with uh, bullets. Now, that would be a key indication, of course, that the police had opened fire on that vehicle trying to get it to stop. No idea at the moment uh, about uh, who was driving that vehicle uh, and their condition, but uh, the, the pictures that are coming out at the moment, still images uh, showing that lorry and showing it riddled with bullet uh, holes in the front windscreen uh, would certainly point to the fact that this has been some kind of an attack. The police doing their best uh, to try and stop a lorry, which is never easy. Uh, and of course, it takes time to pre-position your police officers uh, to a location where they can open fire on that vehicle. And by that time, it could have done an, an awful lot of damage. And according to French TV, it certainly appears uh, that that is the case. 